Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here. Several months ago, I did a couple videos explaining that Ruger bought the Marlin brand in the um, Freedom Group and Remington Outdoor Company buyout deal. Um, if you didn't know, Freedom Group or Remington Outdoor Company, which owned a lot of different gun brands and accessory brands, um, they basically went under, they filed for bankruptcy. Um, I think there was couple lawsuits or maybe one lawsuit involved with like Bushmaster and stuff. Anyway, that company or, or, you know, big parent company had to break up and sell off its brand names and its assets. And Ruger bought the Marlin brand in that deal. And that was the biggest and most important thing in my opinion, because Marlin is one of my all time favorite gun companies. They make probably <clears throat> some of my favorite rifles of all time. So I wanted to show Ruger some appreciation, just like I showed Mossberg appreciation when they pulled their contract with Dick's Sporting Goods a few years ago, um, and I bought a Mossberg Maverick 88 to show my appreciation for Mossberg. I wanted to do the same thing with Ruger, and I put a lot of thought into this and uh, was trying to think of what I wanted to buy, uh, what gun specifically I wanted to buy to show my appreciation. You know, I was thinking about getting maybe a, a Wrangler or maybe two or, you know, some other uh, revolver or maybe even a pistol rifle. You know, I was trying to think of what I wanted to buy and I came across this um, pretty decent deal for you know the times anyway um found this on gun broker on a layaway option from the same company that i got my girlfriend's uh henry 410 shotgun so they're a pretty good company to deal with and i would do business with them again in the future but inside this really nice case um, which is a pretty good case in my opinion, and it's uh, better than some of the older Ruger cases. But inside this case, we have a Ruger SP-101. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for this, but it was a fair price. Um, you know, it was like in the, with um, shipping and FFL fees and everything, I think it was in the $600 range. Um, so it was not a terrible price for today's day and age. It was They're not a company that will uh, price gouge you. Now, they do have some higher prices for supply and demand, but um, in, in this particular case, I thought it was a pretty fair price even when, um, when we're not in a crisis. So, you know, it was like five something. I think it was, I guess it was almost $600, so not terrible. But, you know, it's just a five shot. 357 Magnum, uh, I think it's two, two and a quarter inch barrel, I think is what this one is. So I think there's a three inch barrel, which is a little bit longer. And then there's like, they have like a four inch and stuff like that. But I really like the, um, the snub nose 357. It is a little heavy, um, but I still think it would make a nice carry gun. Not too wild on the grips. I didn't really know how I was going to feel about the grips because I never really handled an SP-101 or a GP-100 with this style of grip. And they look okay, but you know, they, they just kind of feel, I don't know, they, they feel light and not as solid as like my uh, Security 6 or, you know, pretty much any other revolver grip out there. And that has to do with the fact that this is a Tang style grip and it's not a full, it's not a full grip frame. And I'll demonstrate that in another video and show you the differences in case you didn't already know. But uh, Ruger makes, you know, their newer revolvers, most of them anyway, they have this like weird grip, uh, Tang grip frame. It's not a full grip frame and it's kind of, you know, it makes it not as good of a grip, in my opinion, and it just doesn't feel as solid as a, of a gun as my uh, Security 6 or, um, you know, all their older revolvers or even like a, a Ruger Red Hawk, which also has a full grip frame. But there's really not that much to tell about this gun. I will do a, a more formal review overview type video, but I just kind of wanted to show it off and... Uh, 
Um, can't wait to take it out and shoot it. Not sure when I'm going to do that just because it, um, you know, I, I have ammunition, but I'm not really in the mood to go out and blow through all my ammunition because I don't really know when I'm going to be able to replenish it. And that is another big issue with today's day and age with everything that's going on. But that is what I bought to show my appreciation for Ruger. Ruger is probably my all time overall favorite gun manufacturer. Marlin is probably my favorite lever action rifle manufacturer. Mossberg is my favorite overall shotgun manufacturer. And they do make a few good rifles too. But you know, those three brands are my top three brands for firearms overall. So if one of those three brands does something really good, um, and especially with Ruger saving one of the other uh, of my three favorite brands, um, I want to show some appreciation for them, uh, to them rather. Um, so that's all for this video. Uh, I will do another video with this revolver in the near future. Subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14 and until next time, be safe.